There is normally a gap between when an automaker unveils a new model and the announcement of its racing spin-off. But Aston Martin is releasing details and images of the new vintage GTA racer just 8 hours after showing its road-going counterpart for the first time. Such is the relentless pace of Aston's development program. While there are many details to relay about the car itself, we need to start by acknowledging that this is one of the most extreme-looking GT race cars ever. Its outrageously flared wheel arches bring to mind 1970s fashions in pants, and a rear diffuser hangs far enough behind the rear bumper to require two support rods to lash it to the bodywork. Considering that the previous Vantage GTE was competitive until the end, taking a class win at the 24 Hours of Le Mans this year, we imagine the first sight of this one will cause some consternation among competitors. Like the road-going Vantage, the racer is switching to the Mercedes-AMG twin-turbocharged 4.0-liter V8 engine, which we're told will produce more than 535 horsepower and 515 pounds to foot of torque. The engine gets different turbos, a dry sump lubrication system, and an exhaust made by a Kropovic. It sends its considerable urge to the rear wheels via a 6 speeds track sequential gearbox. The body uses a development of the aluminum architecture of the road car with an integrated steel roll cage. The car's claimed dry weight is just 2,745 pounds, the minimum for GT racing. That includes what's described as an electrically operated driver drink system, a rear view camera with collision avoidance radar, which should be useful when the car shares a track with faster, faster prototype racers, and even air conditioning luxury that we imagine will be looked down upon by veteran racers who used to swelter in the cockpits of older sports cars. The Vantage will be in the GT class of the final World Endurance Championship, which looks set to gain even more attention now. Following Porsche's decision to follow Audi and withdraw from the more senior LMP on Panama, drivers will include this year's the main sports winners, Brits here and Peru and John Adam, as well as the